Hey everyone, it's your buddy Crypto Profit back with another video. And today we're going to be talking about the crypto news of today. We have a lot of news to cover, so stay tuned and make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and like the video if you guys have not already. There's a lot to talk about today. The market down of over 10%, double digit decrease in the last 24 hours. A lot of people panicking still. Just remember, guys, unfortunately, this is what uh, you know does happen in the crypto markets. We have a lot of liquidity that is being taken out. Obviously, a lot of futures being done. Um, and because of that, like I said, when those futures fail, we have a lot of problems in the market for a short period of time. Also remember, guys, Elon Musk is one person. Unfortunately, he is one person with a lot of money and obviously has a huge influence over the market as well at the moment. So let's talk about what's all happened and why we are seeing this 10% decrease, as well as some of the most recent and upcoming news in the uh, cryptoverse today. So we do see this is definitely worth talking about. Is this Cardano up about 11.77%? We continue to see an increase very, very rapidly. So we actually saw it in the last week do about a 29% increase. Cardano in the last month doing about a 44% increase. But the last 24 hours, we actually saw it go to its all-time high of $2.10 May 13th at 11.25 a.m. I do suspect that we will continue to kind of see Cardano jump up and down. And this is directly because Cardano is actually trying to get in touch with Elon Musk. Um, you know, through Twitter at the very least, they've tried to, you know, get in touch, talk about the insane amount of really, uh, you know, Ethereum gas fees are insanely high. Obviously, Cardano is not near as high as well as the energy to uh, you know actually mine um, you know, Bitcoin is the problem in hand with Cardano or not Cardano, sorry, Bitcoin. So we are continuing to see that uh, really play out on Twitter. If you guys want to follow more about that, I do retweet quite a bit. So just follow me on Twitter at uh, it's going to be linked in the description below. I believe there should be a link for my Twitter. You can follow me there and also join the discord. Uh, that'll bring you to more crypto like minded conversations in the discord. I want to say, guys, you know, a lot has been taking place, a lot of interesting, interesting things. So first off, we have Ethereum creator Vitalik Buterin, uh, you know, no, donate $1.5 billion in cryptocurrency to India COVID relief fund and other charities. This was a big deal. Obviously, um, you know, if you actually watch JRNY, he talked about this a little bit in his video yesterday. I know a lot of you guys also watch him. Uh, he's a great guy to watch, and he actually talked about this a little bit. So basically, instead of burning the token, they would actually just send it to his wallet um, and just expected him to never do anything with it. Uh, unfortunately, he, you know, unfortunately for them, I should say, he did do something with it, and he actually sent it all over to a COVID relief fund in India. Um, so the actual India company or the COVID relief fund talked about how they were going to do it slowly um, and not you know, just dump on everybody, which is great for obviously, you know, Shiba holders. But I will say overall, this is definitely going to continue to really tank the price of, you know, these these uh, meme coins specifically that are involved in this one. So I think it's going to be actually a very big deal, obviously, for a lot of people. I hope meme coins don't come back as quickly or as strong as they, you know, were at the time. I, I'm hoping, you know, meme coins slow down just a little bit as we get back to real world use case coins, uh, you know, such as Cardano, specifically. So we jump into can Cardano become the third biggest crypto after Ethereum and Bitcoin. And if we take a look at what that would take, it's actually not too much. So obviously we would just have to pass a BNB. Uh, we'd be about, we're about 30 billion away in market cap to pass BNB. Uh, so it's definitely a possibility in the near future. I think that's definitely something that's going to happen. Uh, I don't know when it'll happen, but I actually do suspect that we will have Cardano pass BNB uh, before the end of the year or next year at the very least. So let's jump into the next report. So we have buyers reportedly canceling Cybertruck orders after Tesla suspends BTC payments. So a lot of people are very upset about this. And I guess what I should do is probably talk about you know what happened with Elon Musk a little bit in small detail because we've talked about it quite a bit and everyone's talking about it. We'll talk about it in small detail and then we'll jump back to this uh, article and talk more about that. So Tesla and Bitcoin. Tesla has suspended vehicle purchases using Bitcoin. We are concerned about rapidly increasing use of fossil fuels for Bitcoin mining and transactions, especially coal, which has the worst emissions of any fuel. Cryptocurrency is a good idea on many levels and we believe it has a promising future, but can uh, this cannot come at great cost to the environment. Tesla will not be selling any Bitcoin and we intend to use it for transactions as soon as mining transactions to more sustainable energy. Uh, so they talk about we are also looking at other cryptocurrencies that use, you know, below that 1% of Bitcoin's energy transaction. So we obviously, um, you know, he actually shows a chart here. So obviously Bitcoin electricity consumption is insanely high right now. Um, but you know, Pop actually said, Elon, you realize 75% of miners use renewable energy, right? The energy story has de been debunked over and over again. Uh, it's kind of true. It has been debunked. Um, unfortunately, you know, with 75% uh, of miners using renewable energy, that's not exactly accurate. I would say it's a little less than that. We've talked about that in detail 
Um, and I think there's some replies probably that go into detail on it. I'm not going to go too much detail on that specifically, but then we have Justin Sun. So a bunch of big names, obviously replying to this big crypto news. Um, you know, a lot of people wanting to talk about their coins, how it has success and how uh, it's a big deal. So let's see the first one. Uh, the first one we had, I believe was, was it Justin Sun? Yeah, Justin Sun. Hi, Elon Musk. If you really want an instant, stable, low fee and green energy payment solution for Tesla, your best choice is Tether on Tron. It has been used by tens of millions of people globally with $10 billion transaction volume per day. Uh, so it's obviously uh, a big deal. A lot of people wanting to get their coins involved. Here we have Michael Saylor. Ironic because no incremental energy is used in a Bitcoin transaction. The energy is used to secure the crypto asset network. And the net impact on fossil fuel consumption over time will be negative, all things considered. So obviously, uh, you know, an interesting tweet there. We have Doge replaces BTC. It was inedible. Um, David's talking about that. Uh, so basically, this is the chart that took place as soon as this was basically, uh, you know, announced or tweeted. We saw the tweet right here at the top, obviously, and just an instant drop. Um, so, uh, you know, we're still dropping as it speaks, as we speak, I guess. We've been right around that $50,000 mark. If we take a look at Bitcoin right now, uh, in the last, let's so with the, I guess we can go in the last week, we see this last week, we dropped from about 54742 all the way down to, I believe it was like forty five almost. Um, if we can get to the bottom, 46,000 on the dot, or it looks like about $46,000 on the dot. Uh, then we did kind of increase right back up to 51,000. Um, and now we're stabilizing around 50,000. Uh, we'll see where this really takes us a lot going on. Like I said, with, uh, you know, with the Bitcoin and everything right now taking place with Elon's must tweet. Uh, so, you know, KuCoin's talking about it a little bit. What's the most energy efficient crypto? Uh, obviously, KuCoin crypto gem. So everyone's trying to find that. Harmony said, you know, we'd love to share you Harmony's amazing tech. It's an environmental con uh, conscious proof of stake, two second finality, secure and random stake sharding, plus so much more. So like I said, a lot of people trying to get their, you know, their say of their coin in there. Um, it's just it's just interesting to see this many people really talk about their coins, as well as MTR talking and talking about their you know, provides a greener solution than BTC due to its economic game design. Um, so like I said, a lot of people talking about their coins and how they could help with this situation. Going back though, we do see Mark Cuban uh, replying to this tweet saying, we at Mavs.com will continue to accept BTC ETH Doge because we know that replacing gold as a store of value will help the environment and uh, shrinking big bank and coin usage will benefit society and the government. So it's very interesting, obviously, to see Mark Cuban basically reply saying, uh, you know, we know that this is kind of bull crap. Uh, we're going to call you out on this bluff because, you know, obviously this is not the exact case here. Uh, you know, everyone's free to do what they want. I think, you know, this isn't Elon Musk really talking. This is Tesla as a whole. He wants to do what's best for the shareholders, stockholders. But unfortunately, there was some pushback and we're going to kind of take a look at that. So buyers reportedly canceling Cybertruck orders after Tesla suspends BTC payments. So this is a big deal as well. Obviously, if this is the case, if we see actually a lot of people canceling orders, we'll see what happens. So we actually see one here. Cancel your order, Cybertruck. Um, so it looks like there are a lot of Cybertruck orders that are being actually canceled around the world. We'll see how much that really affects, you know, Tesla as a whole, but I'm sure, you know, they won't affect them too much. Next, we have unstoppable domains and brave to provide millions of users access to the decentralized web. Obviously a good thing. More than 30,000 decentralized websites and 700,000 blockchain domain names are now accessible by brave users. Um, going into the next one, we see big short investor Michael Burry says Tesla's 1.5 billion bet on Bitcoin was a distraction and Dogecoin's record price signals a massive bubble. Um, so obviously the big short investor Michael Burry uh, you know, suggested Tesla bought Bitcoin to distract from regulatory issues in China. Uh, also pointed out Dogecoin's record price is evidence of a huge market bubble. Uh, we'll continue to kind of see what happens in the very near future. Just another interesting article. We also saw micro, uh, micro strategy you know, acquiring additional $15 million in Bitcoin at average price of $55,387. Um, just a massive amount of, you know, Bitcoin being bought at actually, unfortunately, a above average price right now. Uh, obviously, if you take an I guess above it's above our current price, not above average, uh, but above our current price point right now. Obviously, we dipped below fifty thousand. They could have got a better deal. Unfortunately, they bought uh, fifteen million at fifty five thousand. So now we have a few more articles. I just want to take a quick look at on Coin Telegraph, and then we'll jump into uh, you know talking about what happened with Cardano and how it's continuing to do very very well. So investment bank Cohen set to offer institutional grade crypto custody. The one hundred and three year old bank wants to help. Uh, I guess it wants to hold crypto for asset managers and hedge, hedge funds as uh, you know Wall Street begins offering cryptocurrency products to institutional clients. 
mass adoption, mass adoption, mass adoption. That's great to see. So one inch network also increases liquidity sources by expanding to Polygon. Polygon, formerly known as Matic, offers one inch more capabilities, including higher throughput and access to large liquidity pools. Then we also have you can buy condos with Doge in Portugal as crypto real estate listings soar. So now you can you know use your Doge going to buy luxury apartments in Portugal with a penthouse currently on sale for five million Doge, roughly two point two million dollars. So it's just crazy, you know, crazy to see this mass adoption take place. We've talked about this quite a bit. Um, like I said, guys, there's so much going on in the crypto verse right now. I will try to keep you guys updated as quickly as possible. A better way to do that than just watching my YouTube videos is to subscribe, turn notifications on and like the video as well as follow me on Twitter linked in the description below. If you guys haven't already, make sure to sign up with those exchanges listed in my description as well. It gives you guys bonuses as well as myself. So I really would appreciate the support. Uh, but that's going to be about all we're going to talk about today. Obviously a massive amount of news coming recently. Uh, and I also want to give you guys the opportunity if you guys don't know, um, you know, I do have a store, so you can use 75k subs. It's 15% off anything at my store. Uh, it's going to be located below. It just has a bunch of merchandise or you know, clothing for you guys to purchase. Um, it's 15% off, like I said. So take advantage of that. Uh, as we have big sales in the crypto market as well as my own market. So thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys all in the next one.